Yeah, I definitely miss workshop life. The um, the comforts of it, nice little log fire corner. Do you reckon this will be able to fit in my van? Yeah, I'll give you a hand. They are spotless, aren't they? I wish my tools were that clean. Well, that might not fit in my van, but they definitely will. I'll help you with that later. <laughs> Welcome to the CEF Power Tool Show. Today is our chippy special. It's a cut above the rest. We're going to be talking all things power tools and why it's so crucial for a carpenter to be able to get the job done. Whatever your power tool needs, whatever the trade, CEF have got you covered. For your chance to win your own bundle, stay tuned and we're going to tell you how you can enter and win. Today, I've got Paul Duffy in the studio. How have you been? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, I'm ex very excited to hear what you've been up to and what you actually do. Actually, I'm a bench joiner by trade, but work out on site and um, yeah, build bespoke furniture, wardrobes, that okay. sort of stuff. Media walls is big at the minute. So you're doing like the kind of bespoke work that would normally take place in a workshop, except you're going to people's homes that's right. Moving all your kit, Yeah. moving your site around the country, wherever you That's need it. That's it. So basically my van is just a mobile uh, joiner shop. So okay. Big fold-out table. Uh, I've got my saw on benches and table saw all set up, ready for roll-on bench and everything. So I imagine keeping your tools compact, lightweight and organised is crucial for you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. CEF have given you some of the new Milwaukee fuel range to try out and have a go with. That's right. So What have you had? So last week I got the privilege of trying their um, Circular Saw, the M18. Okay, nice. Yeah, it, well, it, well, it lovely saw to use. I'm a little bit jealous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Let's take a look at it and have a see. So first impressions, it looks great. The little light at the front, that's an awesome idea. I love that. That's a good feature. Got good yeah. balance. So let's get some cutting done. And dark and dingy place. Awesome that. I see, I see what you mean working on site with your setup. Another nice sort of thing about this saw is the grip. It just feels nice to hold. It's not too heavy. It's got a good balance to it. All the mechanisms on it are nice and smooth. They're not too stiff. Overall, I would uh, definitely recommend this saw. Looks like you've had a good time. I mean, to be totally honest with you, I'm already sold because I own the Milwaukee Fuel Range and this circular saw in particular is an absolute beast. Obviously, being a landscaper, we're in the cold, we're in the wet, we're in the mud and all day long, no matter what, no matter how much I try and abuse this tool, it just keeps going all day long. And I think half of that is thanks to the magnesium frame. So a lot of these circular saw saws have got plastic guards and it's all a little bit kind of, not cheap, but a little bit more lightweight, uh, which Tacky obviously feel. has its benefits as well. But for me, robust is key. Yes. How did you find it? How did you go? On? Well, probably the main thing that I um, got out of this saw was the brushless motor, which gave twice as much input, uh, output for the batteries, which okay. is, is key for um, all trades, I think. Uh, gain so, as much so the battery batteries. itself is actually going to be lasting longer? Longer longer lasting battery life due to the fact that it's brushless, it's brilliant. Nice. Another thing about the battery as well is this has actually got like the Red Link system, which is across the board on the Milwaukee range. And what that actually does is it digitally controls both the battery and the motor. So if it feels that it's overheating, it actually cuts out and stops. So instead of burning out your batteries, they're going to last longer. Every day is a school day. There you go. <laughs> Another great feature I thought was the little blower at the front. So just in the front yes. there. So yep. when you're running your saw along, it blows the dust away from the first and second line, which is a, a great so, feature. So instead of kind of gently trying to blow on it yourself and keep that sawdust away from your mark. I see everybody pass you know that exactly. on the floor from blowing the dust. <laughs> exactly. I mean, like I say, I use it all day every day. And I think, having seen that, you might do as well. Mm, yeah, definitely, actually, to be fair. Yep, yep, lovely tool, lovely tool, loved it. With thousands of power tools available in store and online for next day delivery, don't forget to check CEF out for all your power tool needs. Now imagine you're swapping that terrible English weather for glorious sunshine on a desert island as a castaway yep. with no one but my mate Wilson <laughs> for company. Yep. What tool are you going to take to help you get you through your stay? Ooh. Ooh. Hold that thought because that's not an easy question to answer. So let's nope. take a look and see what our other trades said. Come on, Wilson, have a look. If I could take one tool with me to Desert Island, it would have to be a handsaw. I know that I could mark it square. I know I could cut Old them all school. to build a shelter. Wrong. Nice two bed apartment on the beachfront. 
and also that this tool doubles up as an beach. instrument. He's, he's got high hopes for a beach for him as well. So I would take to the desert island, if I was forced to go, would be a nail gun. Yeah, you need shelter, you need food. Right, shelter, hand tools. Great until you run out of nails though. So. I can make it out of crab's legs. You know, I've got it all sorted. The nail gun, protection. Have you ever heard of a coconut crab? Absolutely awful. So it's other moments. So he's thinking defensively as well. Be. Yeah. Morris it's defensive. Right. With this one, he I could, could kill so, a yeah. chicken, I suppose. Pluck a chicken, cut a tree down, make a house, probably make a bed. It would have to be the reciprocator. Well, as long as he doesn't direct that nail gun towards my mate Wilson, I'm happy. Keep it to the crabs. <laughs> <laughs> what about you then? I'm interested to hear what you've got to say. Well, I think I'd take the reciprocated saw. Yeah? You could tie a stick to it yeah. and you can use it to make fire. Oh, wow, okay. You're oh. really thinking outside the box. There you so go. So you're going to use the friction as a reciprocating saw to set a blaze, make fire. That's it. And oh. then obviously doubles up to actually construct things. Or I could just take the battery well. out and just fuel it. <laughs> I mean, it's a good theory, it's a great idea, but I'm a little bit skeptical. Come on. Personally, I'm going to go for one of those battery powered chainsaws. Not only can I absolutely tear the forest to pieces, I can build myself the best beach hut imaginable, but it's going to do it fast and it's going to do it furiously. And that's kind of my style. Yes. I reckon we're both onto winners there, but I think once they run out of battery, we're going to struggle. Oh. Oh! My turn tonight. No, 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 we my, agreed. No, no we my said turn tonight. every other night. No, no, can't have it, no. Well, it's me best anyway. He said. <laughs> <laughs> now that we've finished bickering over Wilson, <laughs> unfortunately we've come to the end of the show. But don't forget, for all your power tool needs, head over to CF. If you're not a Sparky, it's not a problem. They've got you covered. And if you want to win that bundle that we mentioned at the start of the show, don't forget, follow the link in the comments, enter your details, and a winner will be selected at random. See you next time. It's my night. It's my night. Give we me agreed. No. It's my no, night. No. I want to go. My turn tonight. <laughs> <laughs>